<clears throat> Hi folks, this is Steve Grono. I'm the uh, owner here at Chestnut Development and Chestnut Home Builders in uh, Brighton, Michigan. Uh, we've got a bunch of equipment in this spring that uh, has become surplus to us and we're going to make it available to you. Um, one of them here is this uh, 2013 Case 580 Super N uh, loader backhoe. I'm going to tell you. Around, I'm going to take you around the outside, take you in the inside, and show you the details on this machine real quick. Um, first of all, um, this machine is in. Uh, I would say it's a nine out of a ten as far as condition goes. Uh, the uh, basics are four-wheel drive. Uh, it has a hydraulic clamshell front end bucket on it. Of course, the extend a hoe uh, rear backhoe on it. Um, Four-wheel drive, and it does have uh, one, 1,122 actual hours on it, is all the hours it has, and it actually runs and drives just like a new machine. So we'll go around the outside, and then I'll take you inside. Um, first of all, four-wheel drive tires are about 60, 70 percent, right in that range. Um, there are no, there's no damage on the body. I'll try to show you close up how the body on it looks, or how the how the uh, sheet metal looks. Uh, the glass, uh, there is no broken glass on it anywhere. All the lights work, wipers, uh, turn signals, all that stuff works. There's no hydraulic leaks at all. Um, <clears throat> this is a fuel tank on the left side near the driver's entry point. Uh, the, uh, these, are, these are, of course, the Goodyear tires. I would say, again, about 60, 65% on the tread on the tires, original tires, 2013. Um, the uh, outriggers in the back here have uh, the... Uh, uh, heavy-duty pads on them. They're in good shape. They're not torn up or anything like that. All the hydraulics in here are tight. The pins are tight. There is no slop or play in anything when you operate this machine. It can be surgical. You can you can get right up close and personal to anything you're trying to expose or any kind of underground work you're trying to do without any issues. These three windows all drop down, of course, for the operator to run the backhoe. Uh, it, again, it's the, you know, this is extend hole. This portion extends out. I have two buckets that are going to come with it. This is a 12-inch bucket. I also have a, another bucket. I think it's an 18 or a 24. I'm not sure which. It's a quick change on the back. So you can, tr you can change these buckets out in like five minutes. Uh, coming around this side, um, again, I'll just show you the hydraulics and the grease connections and all this stuff. It's all good, tight, clean. No, no slop or wear in any of this. It, uh, same tolerances as new. All these lights and stuff work good when you're digging, you know, at dusk or in the uh, evenings. Um, again, the tires are in nice shape. I'll show you this one. It's, it's got uh, pretty good tread, 65% or so. Uh, and again, this side of the cab, no, no damage on the glass, side lights. It does light up everything around it when you're running this at night. Um, over on the right side here, you have access to your batteries and... Uh, this one is for your hydraulic oil on this side. Um, uh, again, glass is good. Exhaust stacks all clean and nice. Here's a little close up of some more of the body. Power steering, of course. And there's your front right there. Has a large counterweight in the front of it for the uh, backhoe attachment. And here's the hydraulics in the front end bucket portion of the machine right there. These are the hydraulic cylinders on each side that open up this clamshell so this bucket opens this way you can reach over the top of boulders and rocks and grab them and pick them up um, that's a handy little feature it has three hooks on the top of the bucket as well okay so let me take you inside the cab and start it up and just show you a little bit about how it runs it has uh, no mechanical issues to do we've done service on it everything is clean lubed uh, we've oil changed it done all that kind of stuff it's already ready to go right in the service big rubber floor mats in nice shape inside here the seat has no rips in it or anything uh, everything in this cab is tip top close the door here <coughs> okay here's your uh, instrument panel turn the key on and we'll start it up Fires right up, uh, gauges come right up. Um, got the parking brake on, which is right there. Uh, let's see. Back here, you've got your engine speed indicator, your wiper controls, and your lighting switches right there. Um, there there's the hours right there. Oops, it just shifted. I think it'll come back up. One, yeah, 1122.7 hours. Uh, let's see. You've got 
uh, four speeds here, and then you've got a hydrostatic transmission with forward and reverse here on the left side. Individual brakes, or you can run the brakes together for the rear brakes. This is your loader bucket control right here. I mean, you all know how this works. It just runs up and down and tilts from side to side. And this is your clamshell bucket right there. See those, see those cylinders there? That, that's your front bucket opens up and it's real fast, closes down. Um, this thing has been really handy, I'll tell you, for picking stuff up and setting it down. Let me uh, turn my seat around for you and show you, um, you know, the, rear, the rear station. That's right here. So but, uh, controls for your back core right here, these are joystick controls just like you would have on an excavator. Um, these are your outriggers, uh, up and down on your outriggers. This one's you know, running down. There are no leaks in any hydraulic system on this rig. And that, there's that one, this is the left side running that up and down. Um, the right hand joystick over here, the throttle control, all that stuff is operating fine. There's an extra quick pin sitting right here for it. Uh, again, these windows drop right down and you can operate freely and look right at your work while you're uh, doing your thing. So, I don't know, there's not a whole lot to talk about here other than the machine is, is right. It's, uh, it's running good, there are no issues with it. You don't have any uh, repairs to do. And I, uh, you know, guarantee it to be the way I'm representing it, 100%. So if you have any questions on it, you want to call me, I'm at 810-599-5147. That's my cell number. Uh, the machine's located right here um, on Chilson Road in Howell, where we live. And uh, I've got it stored uh, inside right now. Oh, by the way, here's the serial number right here. Uh, case loader backhoe, JJGN58. S N A D C five eight six one six seven twenty thirteen model. Uh, that's the uh, ID tag on it right there. So anyway, I hope that was uh, helpful. Um, give me a call. I'll try to answer any other questions you might have. Thank you so much.